Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I am going to show you 4 ways to hide iPhone apps. With these 4 methods you can hide any apps from your iPhone without using any third party app or without jailbreaking your iPhone. So make sure to watch the video till the very end and I'm pretty sure you will learn something new from this video and if you do learn then you have to like the video and also share the video with your friends. So with that said let's get started. Our first method is using a folder to hide apps from your iPhone. First of all, select a folder that is less used. I mean, select a boring folder like utilities, product productivity or you can create your own folder. So in my case, I am going to hide app on this inside this folder. I already hidden an app as you can see here. Now I will hide another app inside this folder. To do that, select the app that you want to hide. In my case, I am going to hide YouTube app. So just tap and hold on it and drag it inside the folder that you want to hide. So now I am going to go to third page and drop it there. Now the app is hidden inside the third page of this folder. But this app is not completely hidden. If you search the app from here the app will be visible. So let's say for example YouTube as you can see I can find YouTube app by searching it now let me show how you can hide the app from this search to do that head over to your phone settings and go to Siri and search scroll all the way down find the app that you just hidden in my case I have hidden the YouTube app after that turn this toggle off and now if you search for YouTube app it will not show up here as you can see it's completely hidden in order to unhide the app first of all take it out from the folder next go to your phone settings go back to Siri and search Find the app that you just hidden and turn this toggle on. And now if you search for the app, it will be visible here as you can see. Our second method is using screen time to hide apps from iPhone. First of all, head over to your iPhone settings, select screen time, turn it on, tap on continue, tap on this is my iPhone. Once it's turned on, first of all, set a passcode for your screen time. If you want to save your screen time passcode on your Apple ID, you can do so by typing your Apple ID here. So I'm just going to cancel it. Next, tap on content and privacy restrictions. Turn it on. Type your screen time passcode. After that, tap on content restrictions. Next, tap on apps. As you can see by default, it's set to allow all apps. Now all you have to do is tap on don't allow all apps. After that, all your installed apps will be disappeared. As you can see, the apps you installed from App Store will be hidden. In order to bring them back, just go to settings, tap on apps, tap on allow all apps. Now all your apps will be back as you can see. In order to hide default apps like camera, mail, FaceTime etc. Just go back to screen time. Tap on allowed apps and select the app that you want to hide. So in my case I am going to hide FaceTime. You can select whichever option you want. After that the FaceTime app should be hidden. As you can see FaceTime app is now gone from my iPhone. In order to bring it back, just go to screen time, tap on allowed apps and turn it back on. And after that, screen time app will appear right here. Our third method is using pages to hide apps from iPhone. First of all, tap and hold on the pages, tap once again and select the page that you want to hide. So in my case, I am going to hide these three pages. That means all the apps inside these three pages will be hidden from my iPhone's home screen. Now you can see 
I have only two pages left. If you want to bring them back, just do the same thing once again. This time, just check mark the pages that you have hidden. After that, you should have all your pages or apps back. As you can see, it's as simple as that. Okay, before I show you the last method, I have a question for you. Which one of these methods is your favorite? Let me know your answers in the comment section below. Let's discuss about each other's picks. If you ask me, my personal favorite is the fourth method because in the fourth method, we are going to hide an app under an image or icon. Sounds very interesting, right? It is interesting. So let me show you how it's done. Okay, our fourth and last method is using shortcuts to hide apps from iPhone. First of all, find an app that is rarely used on iPhone. There are many apps installed on iPhone that is not used very often, like tips app, health app, etc. In short, select a boring app. So in my case, I am going to use tips app as an example. You can choose whichever app you want. First of all, take a screenshot of it because we are going to hide the app behind the picture. So go to photos and crop the screenshot that you just took. We are going to crop it until we have the app icon. You can do better than me, but this is okay for me. So tap on done. Once it's done, now open shortcuts app. If you don't have shortcuts app installed on your iPhone, just install it from app store okay first of all tap on this plus sign tap on add action and from this list select scripting next tap on open app and tap on choose app and select the app that you want to hide so in my case I am going to select Instagram for example you can select whichever app you want after that tap on these options and tap on add to home screen now rename your shortcut for example I want to name it IG you can name whatever you want after that tap on this icon to select the photo so in my case I'm going to select the photo after that tap on choose tap on add and now you can see if I click on this icon Instagram will open as you can see now the next thing you have to do is to remove Instagram from your home screen oops sorry remove it from your home screen now the Instagram app is hidden under this picture as you can see isn't that cool so there you have it guys, that is how you can hide apps from your iPhone using these four methods. I hope you guys learned something new from this video and if you did then please give it a thumbs up and also share the video with your friends. And if this is the type of content you like to watch then please subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. And I will catch you on the next one. Stay blessed, stay safe. Peace.